welcome to MBS Show, episode number 303. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. I'll be going solo for this week because, well, it's the Chinese New Year weekend and most of the guys are busy. So, you got me alone. I ain't gonna leave you guys hanging. So, let's jump into the news. So, in first news, last week we mentioned about them fighting herds and there's a follow-up. And this week, the voice actors or actress for this game were revealed. And a huge shocker to the list is, well, um, the main, I won't say the main, but one of the characters, the cow named Arizona, is played by Tara Strong. And we all know who Tara Strong is, but if you guys at home don't remember... She is Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Ben Tennyson from Ben 10, and um, Timmy Turner from Fairly Odd Parents. So, Tara Strong is in the game. Wow, that's just wow, mind blowing. And moving on to the next news. Um, I got no good segue for this, so uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of a segue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember what I mentioned about Tara Strong? But one of her first gigs in the VA world was voicing for Hello Kitty. Yes, uh, the Hello Kitty's and Friend cartoon way back in the days. So that's something interesting. But here's the kicker. The creators of Hello Kitty, Sanrio, are teaming up with MLP to create a line. MLP cross Kikirara line. Uh, that's what they say on the news here. Uh, as for what are we getting, we got no idea as of yet. Uh, it could be one of those famous um, Hello Kitties in pony costumes or vice versa. We, we got no idea. As for now, this is something very interesting to uh, keep watch. If you're a big fan of Hello Kitty or well, I, I know you guys listening here are a big fan of the ponies. So, well, keep an eye out and stay tuned to the MBS show for further news. And continuing on to the region of Asia, way back when, the Mellow Pony movie just released in China. And a very interesting thing that they did was with marketing is, well, besides dubbing the show, promoting it and whatnot, they did a music video and I, I got no idea what the title is but their chorus is really really catchy uh, go listen to the song first because I don't do it justice welcome back so this song here is very fun like the the video involves the singer and I'm assuming it's his kid and they're singing a song, being happy and whatnot. And one of the uh, chorus is, Oh, little pony, pony, pony. And that's very catchy. Uh, you just have to go listen to it because I'm not doing it justice because I don't really remember how the whole song goes. If I do remember something, the chorus reminds me of the first generation pony team where uh how does it go something like that yes uh it was an homage to the og1 days so that was pretty interesting and did g4 did something like that i don't remember nah i don't remember but anyway, um, go check it out. It's on the YouTubes. It's fun. It's worth the listen. And hey, if you like the song, well, <laughs> enjoy. And last news on the list. From one voice to another. And Miss Mojo, the YouTube channel that does the whole top 10 thing, uh, made a top 10 list of best brony YouTubers. Normally, I won't bring this up, but why I'm talking about it now is because there are a few people on the list that I've talked to, 
and they're pretty chill. Uh, I'm trying to remember who's on the list. Um, in all honesty, I don't remember. But what I do remember, oh, someone kindly put a list. So some of the few people that are on the list is Rina Chan, Webcakes, Viva Ravery, Josh Scorcher, Dr. Wolf, Fufflepuff, and uh, an honorable mention is Lightning Bliss and Anthony C. And uh, from what I remember, oh, Ellie Monty too. There's Ellie Monty on the list. And the top two, from what I can remember, uh, number two goes to Dr. Wolf. And number one goes to my mean man, Silver Quill. He got the top spot. And that is just amazing, man. Like, I, I am speechless. Silver, I'm not sure if you're listening to this or not. And, you know, I'm going to talk to you tomorrow. Congratulations, man. You You deserve this. Like, this has been... Really, really awesome. And yeah, I know it's just a top 10 list. It doesn't really matter because lists are just lists and they're opinion-based and blah, blah, blah. Like I could make a list of the ten, the top 10 games that I enjoy and those lists are going to be ridiculous because I enjoy playing Sonic Forces while the whole internet hates it. <laughs> Not to mention Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Uh, that game's not going to Evo. That's a sad set. Oh god. But anywho, congratulations Silver. You rock. You deserve the top 10 list thingy. And yeah, like, good on you man. And in breaking news, it seems that the figure company called Kotobuki, yeah, that does all the Bishojo figures like the Marvel Bishojos or the DC Bishojo figures. You know, those pretty nice looking Japanese figures. I personally have a, whatchamacallit, uh, black cat uh, Bishojo figure. And if I'm not mistaken, the Dark Magician girls from the same company too. Um, I don't really remember, but they have just recently announced that they are teaming up with Hasbro to create, well, figures for their line. The figure that they are talking about is My Little Pony and G.I. Joe. And they have released the initial art for the My Little Pony line. And said My Little Pony line is going to be Equestria Girls Pinkie Pie. So this is awesome. I've always been talking about this for a while now, about having figures made by the Japanese and either by the Happy Smile Company or the Good Smile Company or Kotobuki. Yeah? And in all honesty, I was surprised. This just popped up on my Facebook feed and oh wow, I can't wait for this. Like, I know this is going to cost me a pretty penny, but I am going to get this one. Even though Pinkie Pie is not my favorite, I just want it. So what what can I say? Um, Go check it out in the show notes. Just go take a look, see. And oh my goodness, this is going to be awesome. If you've seen a Koto Bukia figure at your local anime shop or even at the what you call this uh, Kinokuniya, which is a Japanese bookstore. Do I do know that they have it in New York. Uh, there's one in Singapore. There's one in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So there's a few places that sell those figures. And if you're lucky enough, they do. They might sell them at your local Japanese anime store. I, I, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100 sure on that. But still, go check it out because this is just way too awesome, man. And, well, that's about it. So, that's the news for this week. So, let's jump into what have we been doing with our week. And for me, let's see. My week has been pretty slow. Nothing too extreme or serious. Uh, Let's see. I've been playing a bit of the Overwatch. And I've been playing a bit of the Street Fighter V. Oh, 
Now I remember. I, I got a story for you guys. I got a PlayStation 4. Oh, shocker there. Everybody has a PlayStation by now. But um, mine was the first generation PlayStation 4. And I didn't bought that one. I was lucky enough to want it at a raffle at one of my first anime conventions. I was happy. The people at Rimba Racers, they're a 3D anthropomorphic racing show. I think some of you may know them. And I think the episodes are out online on the YouTubes. So go check them out. They're a really fun show. Uh, back to point. Uh, I entered their raffle and I won. Yay me, go. And after what? Uh, that was 2013, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So after 5 years, uh, something happened. My console wasn't displaying anything. The screen went blank. I was worried. I thought that, oh crap, is my console dying on me? And I was scratching my head. I was really in a tizzy and panic. And the reason why is because first, the warranty's dead. Second, it's almost Chinese New Year. Even if I did send it off to the Sony Center or whatever it is, I won't be able to get it back as soon as possible like it'll take them probably two or three weeks and those two or three weeks i won't have a console and that's not good so i tried to do the whole troubleshooting thing try to do the whole reset your console blah 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 and whatnot and i kind of well go step by step and I hooked it up to my PC monitor and it works. It works. After reading a few FAQs about the blinking lights and whatnot. And in the end, the reason for my console quote unquote dying on me is because of the stupid HDMI cable that I bought. The HDMI cable that I bought cost me about 20 bucks. That will be 5 bucks. Or five dollars. I know what you're thinking. Wow, five dollar HDMI cable. That's awesome. I don't mind the whole crappiness and whatnot. But you have to remember something. Five dollars for you guys may be too good to be true. You're gonna get a seven dollar to fifteen dollar HDMI cable from your Walmart or Target. That I do know because I've been searching online for help. So I've read the article there, and. In my case here, I got no way to access at least decent cables. I don't want to buy a 20 bucks cable because I might face the same problem. And I'm not going to push for a 100 buck cable because a 100 bucks can buy you a lot of things. So I had an idea. Does my Wii U have a HDMI cable? And I could have checked my box to just try and look for it but i decided to go to the website and check it out i know it's convoluted and takes one step further from the whole story but uh, after checking yes it has so i took the cable and tried it on and it works and before that i hooked up my ps4 to the pc i already mentioned that earlier before and the cable for that was one of the Xbox 360 HDMI cables. So to solve the problem for the PlayStation 4, I used an Xbox 360 HDMI cable to hook it up to the PC and use a Nintendo cable for the TV. So it's one whole big happy family of peripherals. Yay! So no need to change the console. Knock on wood. But yeah, uh, that's been my adventure in almost not having a PlayStation 4. Woohoo. Uh, but still, that was fun. That was fun. Not really. <laughs> but other than that, no, nothing much. Nothing much. Uh, playing Overwatch, a bit of Street Fighter because Street Fighter's smart. They're doing the whole costume thing where uh, fighting one of the characters with the hidden or exclusive costumes grants you the costumes. So yay that. But other than that, um, nothing much. So let's see, let's see. Oh, 
I did remember something. I've been talking to Silver and he's recommended me this one video. And let's see if I can remember said video. Uh, he told me about this one channel called Neebs Gaming and told me to watch the Subnautica series that Neebs made. And I didn't really pay attention to it at first and took some time to go watch it. And that series was fun. It takes the whole surviving series or the survival game series and put a story into it and that makes it very highly entertaining and fun. Silver forgot to mention that it was 8 hours long. So yeah, thank you Silver. But anywho, uh, that's been my week. Uh, much fun was had with stuff. So anywho, if you guys at home got any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at show, and my Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our latest endeavor, the MBS Show Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And also, we'd like to do other things. Like, one of our favorite things to do right now is review The Miraculous Ladybug. I know, it's strange, but hearing Silver go nuts is just too awesome. Ah. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com and coffee.com. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast. And that's a week early from the YouTubes. So whatever you're listening on the YouTubes and iTunes, the Patreon supporters have listened to that a week ago. And there's also exclusive and deleted content. The exclusives are, well, Patreon edits. And those edits are, well... Things that are quote-unquote not safe for the YouTubes and iTunes but the Patreon people might enjoy or some, you know, mumblings or babblings from our hosts. So yeah, that's also there. So yeah, if you like to support, go do so. And a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, i like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, myself, Lag, Amy, Mark, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan, our newest Patreon supporter. Thank you guys. Thank you for the awesome support. You guys have been really awesome. So I have been Norman Sanzo, and we'll guys catch you next week with another episode of the Yes Show. See ya! See ya!